twice. It would have been longer. I'm gonna take y'all through the process. Got a connection to him, but I think it's time for something new. My daughter gonna help me cut. Well, I'm gonna let her cut some of them. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's Y'all can't rock these like me. This everything I used. Walmart, I done had them for like a long time. T-liners, I bought these from beauty supply store. They were like $80. I had to pick my hair out and then comb through it. And a brush to clean off the clippers after. And I used the self-cut system. I broke this. They, it's cheap. This thing broke off easy, so if you buy one, be careful. All right, hey, what's up? I got a hat to cover up the look. I should have did this at the beginning of the video, but I did it after the cut. So I've been growing the locks since 2013. I started them like maybe a, a few months before my daughter was about to be born, but it wasn't the first time I had locks. I started locks back in high school when I was probably in like 11th grade, and I cut them off after a few months because I, I had I was putting beeswax in it and I was like sitting in class twisting them all day so they was getting they they wouldn't have been right so I had I started locks in high school and I cut them one time and then 2013 was my second no 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 I started locks in high school and I cut them maybe like six months after starting them. Then I started locks again after I graduated when I was going to Chattahoochee Tech and I cut them again after like a year. Then my third time starting locks was in 2013 and that was like a few months before I was about to have my daughter. In 2013 when I started them, when I was about to have my daughter, that was like the time I knew like, all right, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep them for a while. And when I got them, all throughout having them, I was like, you know, I'm a, I'm gonna be one of them. I'm, I'm like Atlanta to the core. I'm gonna keep these forever. Like I ain't cutting them at all. I'm gonna have all gray hair with, with the locks and everything. But after a while, the locks start getting heavy. Times I get dry because I wouldn't be taking as much care as I needed. Cause I just be going like I was a real nigga with my locks. Certain points of time, so they got kind of unhealthy. And then I do a detox and get them clean, but. I just got tired of them, and after a while, I felt like they wasn't, I don't know, I just felt like I didn't need them no more. And to be honest, I feel like they gone, but they could always come back. I ain't, they never really gone. I could easily, my hair grow really fast, so I could grow them bitches back. Yeah, but since like 2020, I've been feeling like I've been wanting to cut them. And I cut a little bit off here and there. I cut like five to six inches because they was getting too long. They was like getting past my back and I didn't want, I wanted them to stay like 
like mid stomach or mid back. So I always cut them like five, six inches. And I did that a couple of times, but I really wanted to cut them all the way off. Like I like both. I like the locks and I like the haircut to be honest, but it was just some pros and cons to the lock sleeping. Like even going to sleep at night, that shit was getting annoying to me or like pulling on it or thinking like a spider, like a, uh, one of the locks that touched me and I'll be thinking it's like some bug or something or eating. Sometimes when you eat and they not tied up, it, they could be like getting close or falling in your food. They get caught. Even taking a shower is different and then having to tie it up at night sometimes. I'm like tired of that. Like I want to just go to sleep. Like I want to just like get in the bed, lay down and go to sleep. I don't be wanting to have to tie top locks and do all that. I feel like I could focus on things a lot more with one less thing to worry about. Even though they like, they not a lot of work and you could just get up and go with them, but they work. Like you gotta, you gotta keep up with your locks and you gotta do some work. And I also wanted to cut them cause I know my mom, she liked my haircut. She liked my locks too. But she, I know she liked her my haircut a lot and she like she loved how I looked with a haircut and she passed away a year ago. So I really was like, I want to do that too because I wanted to cut it and I knew she liked my haircut. So I just got a feeling like it's like, it's, it's the right time. I've been one, two for the past few years, but I just felt like, all right, it's time to cut them now because it's just time for some new. Sometimes you just feel it in your spirit and like, it's just, you, you can't even, deny, like you can't run from it. You just feel like it's it's that time and it was time. And I feel really good about it. Like as soon as I cut them, like I won't say what happened, but like as soon as I cut them, like 30 minutes later, like I got a call that was like some really good news. And then I got another call later that night that was like some really good news. And I was just like, dang, that like gave me confirmation that I'm like doing the right thing or making the right choices, man. Sometimes you do, you gotta just take leaps and do it. You just gotta do it. I'm gonna post some pictures, of like some old pictures of the locks. I ain't get footage of me cutting my hair after cutting my locks, like doing my haircut, cause the camera had died and I had, when I was ready, I was just ready to do it. And I was like, I ain't even trying to wait on this battery to charge up. But I still try to show y'all how I cut it in some type of way. I'm gonna try to show y'all how to cut it, but I ain't gonna really be cutting it. But I'll show y'all basically what I did. I don't know if y'all can see. I hope y'all can see that. You always start high. You can always go lower, but you can't go higher. So start with the highest and then see how it look. But basically all I did was use these. I was in the mirror and I had my self cut system and I just had it on and I really was just, I was in the mirror in the bathroom going like this and just going through the hair and it probably took about 20 minutes and I was just going like in the pattern of like where the hair is going, like the direction. And you just go all the way around and you get it, you know? And that's all I did. So I really wasn't even looking in the mirror. I was just feeling with my hand and like, oh, okay. And cut there, oh, all right. And up here, oh, all right, I gotta get that. And I was just cutting like that. And then I get my mirror and look so I could see. Take your time and keep doing it till you get it, you know, where you want it to be. And I got my liners, the $80 liners. From then, you know, wet it again. I wet it and made sure it was all laying down so it'd be straight. And then I just, and I just got it. And then I used the edges for these and I just make like a circle and go down. That was it. I hope that helps. Um, I wish I would have got the footage of me cutting it, but I ain't feel like waiting on the camera to charge up, so. This is the end result after cutting my locks off. But yeah, I got my hat swag. 
Then cut the locks off. I'm back. Ray Mail now. Go by my real name. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see y'all next time. Peace.